My main concern is self-improvement, becoming the best possible version of myself. I want to help you guys become the best possible version of yourself as well. Now, I've done a lot of things, a lot of tactics to improve, cold showers, wake up early in the morning, but moving changed my life unlike any other. What's good, YouTube? Jam back again with another video. In this video, I'm going to talk about three ways that moving changed my life. Number one, exposure. Guys, sometimes things sound so ridiculous. It seems like certain goals are so unobtainable until you surround yourself with people who have these goals. When I moved to Houston, I was exposed to these type of things. I see these things every day. And once you see these things every day, it seems like it becomes more realistic. Certain goals that you have. Maybe your goals aren't big enough. When I came here, my goals expanded. Because the little goals that I had, I learned that these were, were nothing compared to the goals I have now. But I never would have thought like this if I never moved. So I'm exposed to a lot more things. I go outside, I see supercars, I see very successful people. I see, I see very successful people. I see how they move, I see how they walk, I see how they talk. There were successful people in the small town that I grew up in, but not as many as there are in Houston. Like there's a lot of success in Houston, guys. So I'm just exposed to a lot of different things, a lot of different people, a lot of different foods. Like now, if I'm going out to eat, I always get Asian food. I came to Houston and I learned a completely new language. Like who would have thought? This is something that I never expected. I came here and I learned a completely new language. So moving so moving open doors that I didn't even know I wanted to walk through. So I moved here and I became a completely new version of myself. I reinvented myself. And now I'm on the path to the best, to my best. This is the reason why I always preach moving, leaving your hometown, especially, I'm especially talking to the people in small towns. If you live in a big city, my advice is a little different specifically people from small towns because you're not exposed to a lot in small towns. Number two, growth. Guys, when I moved to Houston, I really learned who I was. I thought I knew before I left. When I came here and I was on my own, I was doing my own thing by myself. You know, I'm in this house by myself. I really learned the type of man that I wanted to become. I really learned who I wanted to be. If you're surrounded by people who you really don't relate to, it's gonna be hard to grow because you're getting so much outside information that maybe contradicts your new way of thinking. I'm assuming a lot of you guys who watch my leave, leave your hometown videos are younger people. Maybe you're in a house with your parents and you really don't agree with their beliefs. Maybe you think a little differently and it's hard to express yourself. Maybe you're in a town that thinks completely different than yourself. I know sometimes I think that, okay, if I'm surrounded with no one, if I'm just by myself, this will be good enough. But you need to be surrounded by people who also think like you. These people can give you a better perspective. These people can give you a slightly different perspective, but on the same path, going for the same goals. I swear, I thought if I stayed there and I just isolated myself, I would be fine. There's nothing like being in a room full of people that think like you. There's nothing better than this. And in Houston, there's a lot of different types of people, people you don't agree with, people that you really will agree with. Conversations that I have with, with you guys, I had these conversations with people in the gym. I couldn't have these type of conversations in my home gym. I couldn't have these type of conversations with certain people in my family. So what are you supposed to do? Sit back and you know isolate yourself or surround yourself with people who are on the same path as you, who want similar things out of life. Number three, life is too short. Guys, life is too short to grow up in the same town, die in the same town without exploring the world. Like I have plans to explore the world. I have plans to, to travel to Asia. I, I, I'm gonna see the world. Life is way too short not to. Why would I not expand? Why would I not expand my mind? Why would I not expose myself to different types of people, different cultures? I wanna see the world. 
I want to travel. I want to explore. This is something that's important to me. Expanding my mind is important to me. Life is way too short. I have people I went to school with. I lost friends that didn't make it out of high school. I've lost my best friend, my coach. And if you lose someone close to you, it really shows you how short life is. So I'm not taking any chances. I want to experience every single thing that I want to experience. And I will, and I'm going to. And I want the same thing for you guys. Get out your comfort zone. Walk your path and become the best possible version of yourself. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. The things I want for myself are the same things I want for you guys.